Hey butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Mona Cole. Here we are all about evolving our loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support here on the channel. It is always appreciated, my loves. And thank you to everyone who has purchased from my tea and my candle company or my um books from off of amazon okay any of my published books so thank you thank you thank you we are getting into an 1111 angel number message at this time we know number 11 is the number of spirituality um spiritual progression um evolving okay it's the number of evolution um if we were to deduce down that 1111 it would deduce down to a four and four is a number of stability, is a number of building up, is a number of home, is, um, I think I already said stability. Uh, it's also a number of protection, okay? And I'm getting this energy as I was tapping into this 1111, was this vibe of you needing to protect a vision that you're currently holding as you're going through this next level of this upgrade. Um, there are things that you are able to share. There are, all, there are things that you're able to, I'm hearing brainstorm out with other individuals but then there's also something that you're being called to keep dear to your heart okay um two of cups and the ace of cups yes so there is something that you are meant to keep deep to your heart that deals with some of you all is your love life relationship some of you all is like some level of friendship or connection or it could just be like this new venture that you're allowing yourself to connect to okay um could be a new friendship it could be a new path it could be a new organization um a new project but this is something that you just started within like the last 30 days i'm getting you don't need to be sharing anything with anyone um for anything that is less than 90 days i think that's the first trimester however the length of a first trimester is of a pregnancy um you don't need to be sharing this information out with anyone let me see how long is the first trimester i guess i could just ask you all in the comments let me know in the comments y'all how long is first trimester but i'm getting this vibe of like the first three months of this project whatever it is you're working on you're going to have to learn how to process and work through it on your own and a big reason for why your spirit guides are doing this is because you have to learn how to build some level of endurance of being able to problem solve or work through difficult situations on your own when you don't have outside support so that you don't get dependent on having outside support so that you don't get dependent upon um, seeking guidance from other people to have confirmation for every step that you take okay that's a big energy of what's coming out something new that you started a new project a new passion project something that you care a lot about something that um, you're starting as a way to bring you emotional fulfillment, not even just financial fulfillment, but emotional fulfillment. So this is like a passion project, something that you like to do just out of passion. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. This is something that is definitely you are building up something to bring you a level of fortune. OK, and that's why you don't really want to share it too much with people too soon, because if you do that, um, you know, we like to give our advice and our opinions, you know, and I know I've done it before in situations like we give feedback, we give advice, we give opinions, and you want to make sure that the foundations of your, unless you're a human design reflector, now that's different. If you're a human design reflector, then yes, talk to trusted people um, to help you process through how you want to bring this about. But the key word, the emphasis is on trusted people. Not everyone is a trusted individual, okay? But this is giving the vibe of... Um, I feel like my nail about to break, y'all. I keep me some dang on nail glue now everywhere I go because these nails be popping off, honey. Um, but this is giving this vibe of like you're creating something. You're creating your own will of fortune. You're bringing something to life on your own at this time. And you're being called to take pride in this. Take pride in this new project. Take pride in this new creation of yours, okay? Because it is going to take you I'm hearing far is going to take you to like this next level of your life. Okay. I'm hearing new levels. It's going to take you to a new level that you weren't expecting. 
but you're going to be grateful for it though yeah ace of swords i'm also hearing a sense of speaking up for yourself more so this is going to teach you to i'm hearing think more for yourself but then also speak up for yourself more so if you wait before you introduce other people to this thing of what you're doing it's like you have your foundational talking points already so when you do introduce this idea to other individuals you have talking points on what to say how to say it you have answers for every question that may be asked so you don't have any level of like confusion or doubt inside of you i'm hearing a sense of confidence by you building and working on this on your own for a set period of time, it helps you build up another level of confidence. So then when you do share it out with other individuals, 555 on the time, they can't just change your mind. They can't make you doubt anything. Because you've done the work, you've done the research. And you're confident in this thing. You're confident in these changes. Some of you all are creating or doing something that connects to your ancestors or an ancestor. So it could be a passion project or something that you talked about with a past over loved one. And y'all talked about creating this thing or doing this thing full time, but they're, you know, not here with you to be able to bring that to life. And so you're choosing to, you know, do it on your own to still bring it to life. Y'all just pulled this nail off, honey. Because <laughs> it was like hanging off and it was bothering my little OCD, honey. Okay. So we about to put this nail back on. But it's something that you are called to do. And I'm hearing humility. It's something about your humility. Your openness. Um, because this first beginning period of all of this, there's going to be mistakes. There's going to be mistakes that are made. Okay. And with those mistakes that are made, it's like, it's going to still end up working out for you in your favor though, because these mistakes are going to teach you lessons that are very imperative for the success that you seek. It's going to teach you the lessons for the success that you seek. To help you with the success. I'm hearing talking points as well. Getting talking points together and agenda, the planning process getting all of that in order during this time. So it could just be like the paperwork, the financials, you know, getting everything set up. So this could just be still too, like you're in the planning process and you don't need to have people's thoughts and feelings and opinions taking over your planning process because then you could be taking in someone else's feelings of this and it takes away from the passion that you have for the project three of wands at the bottom of the deck, which is a planning card. I was about to say any other advice and then the six of cups came out. So it will be helpful for you to keep some things from the past involved with this project. Um, and if it is a passion project of, I'm hearing some type of nostalgia, having something, some type of nostalgia involved in this project. Reflection is very important for you with this project as well. Being able to reflect on the past, being able to reflect on the things that you've worked through, that you've had to build up. It's very beneficial for you at the same time as well.
You have 1212 spiritual authority. And I actually saw 1212 and I took a screenshot. I don't know if I took it with that phone or this phone. Hold on. Let me see. Nope, I took it on that phone. But dang, what song came up? It was a Erica Badu song. Um I can't even think of it. I can't even think of it. Um, but we have 1212. So it's a butterfly effect. Effect. It's a butterfly effect. A effect. Time to change some energy. Change some energy. Time to check your energy. Check your energy. All right, so we have 12-12 spiritual authority. Be confident. The universe is working in your favor and you have spiritual backing to make your goals become a reality. You have 11-11 on this time. You have the spiritual authority. You have the spiritual authority. You hear me? You have the spiritual authority to um, bring things into fruition. You know more than what you give yourself credit for. You just may have been in spaces that didn't want you to see your power. That didn't want you to see how much you knew. How much you were able to accomplish how much you were able to create. But they got another thing coming, honey. They got another thing coming. You hear me? You have spiritual authority with this thing. And that's why this energy was saying um, to not let other people into your space too much. Because if you let them into your space too much, you're going to find yourself out here. Um... Oh, wait. Amazon is out for delivery. I got to turn my do not disturb off. Um, but it's like you run the risk of not trusting your own guidance and following what everyone else wants you to do. Follow your own guidance. Follow what you know to be true. Follow what you really want. Because what you really want is what matters at the end of the day. What you want is what matters at the end of the day. And you have literally, you know more than what you think. It's like you have this natural sense of knowing inside of you. You like literally trust your intuitions. You hear me? Trust your intuition. Like I'm getting this aspect of acting first and asking questions later. You know your magic better than anyone else. Like, I know my magic. I know a lot of parts of myself that is my magic. And, like, I used it. And I literally saw it work. Put it that way. I, I literally saw it with my own eyes. I saw it work. Okay? That was my camera. I saw it work with my own eyes. So you can't tell me it's not magic. You can't tell me it's not a part of our magic. You feel me? Um, and I was sharing it with the members inside of Discord. And I was just like, you know, it took like three months. And that makes me think as well, you know, when we talk about all this manifesting. Yes, it took about three months. And we were just talking about three months before sharing your stuff. Literally, wow. You know, this is giving me this energy of, do it first and then ask questions because something that you want to do, some people may look at you like it's crazy or it don't make sense, but it's actually exactly what you need to do. What you need to do, it may not make sense to people, but it's what you need to do. Three of Swords. And everyone is not going to be okay with what you choose to do and what you decide to do. But it's going to be exactly what needs to get done.
you know, 12 is a number of, and that's why I'm going to title this video 1111 11 and 1212. 12. I'm going to title this video 1111 11 and 1212 12 because it made me think about that 1212 12 energy. Or should I just do a 1212 12 video? If y'all want a 1212 video after this one, like a specific, let me know. And I may record one later. Trust the ideas that come to you. They carry weight. They carry weight. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do, period. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, continue to bloom, my loves. I'll see y'all later.